God. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Stale grape. This is a subathon. If you do exclamation point subathon, you will see that there are basically rewards Butters. for various things that make the stream Get go fucked. longer. I will not. I'm not gonna not sleep. I'm gonna sleep. There's a bed right there. If it lasts overnight, which it probably will last, I'll just sleep. You guys will get a, a sleep stream. Aw, oh, come on. It's uncapped. Who says that? Who is upset that it's uncapped? Usually people are excited about that. This is 23 minutes long. The most dangerous fish in the world. 23 minutes long. It's such a, like a waste of lifetime. Percent of our planet is water. Wait, what percent? Just curious. I like to take a poll on what everyone says. More than 70% of our planet is water. Sure. We know more about what's going on out there in the far reaches of outer space than we do about what's dwelling in our own seas. And he just showed three very like well studied. Goliath, what, Goliath tiger fish, sawfish. What was the other one? Reaches of outer space, then we do about what's dwelling well in Well, catfish. Three very, fairly well understood fish. Our own seas. And also, not in the sea. Goliath tiger fish, Wells catfish, freshwater fish. Number 15, the piranha. Oh, boy. Piranhas are one of the most. Uh, yeah, piranhas aren't dangerous, but it seems like this is a long ass subsection about piranhas. So, what, well, we go over the, the general? Not blood activated, mostly only eat dead things. I mean, there are certainly some situations where you wouldn't want to be around piranhas, but there's like multitudes of evidence that you can just get in, you know, group or get in a pool with hungry piranhas and still be fine. There's a Jeremy Wade video if you want to watch it. So like they're only the bloodthirsty predators when they have no other choice native to oh. the waters across. Wait, South he's America, actually being there real are thought to be more than 30 different species. Oh my God. Yeah. Bang, bang. Wait, he actually just admitted that they're not dangerous. Wait, that's crazy. Don't let facts get in the way of fear mongering. He just admitted it. The lemon. This guy who has made pro I've probably reacted to like five of this guy's videos and they've all been totally dog shit. And for the first time ever, he has admitted something. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification <laughs> bell right the now. The lemon is kind of cute. centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Oh, God damn it. The Number I even, 14. I missed the, the threat. I was reading something from chat and missed him threatening me. Also, really? Box jellyfish? Dangerous fish? Not a fish? Just because it has fish in the name doesn't mean it's a fish. Box jellyfish are some of the most dangerous creatures in the oceans. And if you're ever My favorite thing about these people is that they use someone else's stock footage credited sure. in the bottom. So they credited Discovery Channel but blurred out my camera's covering it, but they've blurred out here someone's logo. So they really don't have the full rights to what they're using, but they're doing it anyways. They have tentacles that hang from each other. Yeah, yeah you, he's lost some of his tentacles. <laughs> each of these tentacles contains I, around... It, it really truly started as a joke that they would call something dangerous and then show people holding it and touching it and playing with it. It really was something that someone said in chat once and I thought was funny. But ever since I've been paying attention to it, every single time it happens. Usually human contact <laughs> with one Dude, will... Dude, the wind is blowing. Blowing. At any moment, the wind could change direction, blow those tentacles into your face. <laughs> it's so crazy. So even if they don't die immediately, they are likely to drown. And you see why they're so feared. Number 13. I see why they're so feared, but they're not a fish. So I'm going to go ahead and go with a with a 0 out of 10 on that one. The Stingray. No, not somewhat valid. Stingrays are literally like very unlikely to attack and even when they do the chances that you'll actually get permanently injured are so fucking low It's just because there's one high-profile case of someone getting really really fucking unlucky Eat long But there are some similarities that mean no matter where you see one you should treat it with the utmost of caution They I have stepped on multiple stingrays and they usually just swim away same. I've also stepped on two stingrays I think they don't just fucking go crazy and sting you and seek you out and whatever. What are the odds, though, that the one time they fuck someone up, it's like the most famous animal guy? I know, it's so unlucky. It's so unlucky. Yeah, there are literally like two deaths ever, and of course one of them has to be a famous animal guy who's always filming. So it's just like, Jesus Christ. That's crazy that I, I didn't... I never really thought about it, but the, the footage of Steve Irwin getting attacked out probably exists out there at some point. 
because I mean he's always filming when he's out doing these animal things. I know it would never be released. I'm sure whoever recorded it deleted it out of respect, but that's a crazy thought. They aren't a naturally aggressive species, but when they feel No, they're not naturally aggressive. They're literal little bitches. They run away. They won't hesitate. <laughs> they're terrified to of everything defend themselves and muscle. Yeah, apparently Steve Irwin's cameraman or brother or whoever was there with him said that he as he's like dying from the stingray like Barb says don't blame the stingray for this. Gramps. Attacks on humans are rare and fatal attacks are- I thought stingrays didn't use their stinger to hunt. Um, I'm sure there has to be species that utilize it in some way, but from my understanding, most stingrays sort of go along the bottom and eat with the uh, with their mouth. Uh, they don't really use stingray. The stinger for anything but defense. Number 12. Muscalunge. <laughs> the muscalunge- Okay. The freshwater fish that is, like, Caught by anglers literally everywhere in the world, but okay. As ambush predators, they lie in wait for prey to swim by and will suddenly leap into action, bite their victim, and swallow it head first. Yeah, they're pretty cool fish. They're definitely not dangerous in any way to humans. I think that maybe if you were like pulling one up and you weren't careful with the teeth, you could maybe get fucked up, but like. <laughs> If you're hunting rats, it's not a problem. Their stomachs extend throughout most of their bodies, which means they can easily swallow. Difference between a pike and a muskelung, they're different species. There's what, northern redfin pickerel, and then there's pike, and there's grass pickerel, and chain pickerel, and muskelung. They're just different species, but they're all closely related. They're all Asocidae, Essox. But there's something much smaller. Oh god, the, the fucking of penis the fish again. I'm really over the penis fish. That has a unique behavior. In humans, though, this can lead to a rather uncomfortable experience because they're just the right size to fit into the urethra. They are and not the right size. No one's urethra is that size. They are, if they force their way in there, if that story is true, they are absolutely not the right size. <sighs> and the sound are so funny. And whoppers <laughs> around the Amazon. <laughs> In rivers around the Amazon. Boof to that guy. Goddamn. Number 10. The Alligator Gar. Boo. The Alligator gar and gar in general are not dangerous in any way, and I hate anyone who demonizes gar even more than I hate people who demonize sharks because sharks actually sometimes have had experience where they can be dangerous, but gar are literally never, ever in any situation ever been dangerous to a human being. So fuck you if you fearmonger gar. Alligator gar is a also gargle these nuts. Aw, look how thought pretty. of as living fossils, God, they share that. a number of characteristics with their ancestors, such as the ability to breathe oxygen from water and from air, and their digestive system, which is similar to those of sharks. The ability to breathe oxygen from water. Does not every fish do that? <laughs> I don't know that that's particularly unique. They're found in the lakes and rivers. They're much rivers bigger than I thought. Oh, gar are crazy States, big. Sometimes venturing out into gar the ocean. Gar always shock you. Like you think you've, if you've seen videos or photos of a gar, you think you understand the size of a gar, and then you see a, a full-grown gar in person, and it's like, holy fucking, god damn, that thing is big. And are ambush It always predators. shocks you. Meaning I've seen like 10 plus gar in person every time I see one, it shocks me. Due to their size, this means they can be a significant threat to humans too. And nope, while they can't. they're unlikely to attack, if they, they do, they can cause horrendous injuries they won't. if they're able to sink their teeth in. They won't. Number nine, sawfish. Sawfish are an unusual type of ray that, Not instead really dangerous. of Has anyone ever been injured by a sawfish ever? Okay, I get it. That looks freaky and terrifying, especially because they do the thrashing thing. But I'm pretty sure that no one has ever been injured. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Other than fishing them up, which I don't think counts. You can't say a fish is dangerous if when you fish it up, it like it's yeah. extremely stupid looking. And I think there are much better ways to hunt. But it's still kind of cool. Like, I'm glad this fish exists. Do I think it should exist? No, but I'm glad it does. This is when they can become dangerous towards humans. They'll usually try and avoid they confrontation. They don't stab, they swing. Yeah, but the spikes are on the side. The spines are on the side. So as you're swing, you're stabbing, you know? 
It's like if you hold a knife sideways and then go like this. It's like, yeah, my arm's swinging, but I'm still stabbing. Number eight, the electric eel. Oh boy. There are, for a long time, there was only one known species, although in recent years, two others have been discovered. All these species are able to generate electrical charges thanks to the presence of two specific organs, known as the hunter's organ and the sachs organ. They can generate a mild Isn't there current, a third organ? which is how they locate prey, and a more powerful shock, which is how- Time to insert my knowledge. Hunter's sax. Isn't there one that starts with like a B or something? Wow. Am I just wrong? I'm just wrong. What am I thinking of? Man, I thought I had a cool science fact. I don't remember what I was thinking of. How they incapacitate or kill their target so they can move in to begin eating. Oh, the I know what I'm thinking of. Lou, Lou digs, lay digs, organ. Yeah, it's a shark thing. It's an organ in sharks is what I was thinking of. Number seven, the goonch fish. The goonch. The goonch fish. The goonch has actually very likely killed multiple people. So, you know what? Fair enough. They are ferocious predators, and between 1998 well, I say and 2007, were responsible for the Cali River Goonch attacks, which saw a number of people going missing in the region. I wouldn't call them ferocious predators. They're just ambush catfish, and you swim over their mouth and they eat you, so. Number six, Wells Catfish. Wells catfish Hog. can be found in freshwater Giant regions catfish. of your dangerous in that they are capable of swallowing a human whole, not dangerous in that they don't do that. Does capability uh, to cause injury make something dangerous? Because that, by that logic, like every human being and every pet dog is dangerous because they could cause serious injury or death, right? But you don't consider them dangerous because they're not actively trying to do that. So why when fish or other animals are capable of causing damage, but they never do, are they considered dangerous? It doesn't make sense. We have different like mammals and then other vertebrates. We have like different standards for them. Living in the radioactive cooling <laughs> pond near the remains of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And for some reason, they appear to be growing much larger there than they do anywhere else. That's just not true. That's some like, wasn't that some like weird show that like caught a well, it was a fishing show that like caught a well's catfish near Chernobyl and it was uh, like large. And so they just decided that all oh, that must mean that radiation causes well's catfish to get huge, even though it's not true. They're just in an untet, untouched basin. The great barracuda is a large Fuck species you. of- A barracuda ever killed anybody? I've heard a bunch of stories where if you're wearing something shiny, barracuda might hurt you, like might tear up your flesh. Not, why did I say it in such a dangerous way? Might like try to attack the shiny thing and people get cut by it, but I don't think anyone's ever died to a barracuda, but I could be Predatory wrong. Predatory fish, they will herd fish into a confined area, so they're ready to hunt when they're hungry. Yeah, that's kinda, if that's true, that's kind of sick. They're literally practicing agriculture. <laughs> barracuda are practicing agriculture, that's kind of sick. How this is more dangerous than a goon which is literally eating people whole, though I don't know. Humans are rare. He just but occasionally booped. they'll He didn't attack, he just booped the camera. Number three, the stonefish. Classic. Stonefish are creepy. Venomous thing you could step on, fair enough. To see the you get fish high on stonefish, yeah, probably. Yeah, you could probably get high on stonefish, right? I mean that's generally how that works, is like, isn't getting high just giving yourself just enough venom to get fucked up, like just enough of something that fucks you up to fuck you up, but if you did too much, it would kill you. Isn't that how that works? I think that's what getting high is for the most part. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about. So I would assume that there's some quantity of, of stonefish venom. Number two, the Goliath tigerfish. Yep, Goliath also would probably be in my top three, so that's fair. Habit. And there are regular reports of people falling victim Is it victim true that Goliath tigerfish only bites if you're wearing shiny stuff? I mean, a lot of fish are just attracted to shiny stuff. I wouldn't say it's entirely unlikely to happen without it, but, um, like, it's entirely impossible that it would happen if you weren't wearing something shiny, but it certainly attracts fish. It makes them notice your presence, which makes them, you know, more, uh, more likely to, to be interested. Number one. The Great White Shark. Jesus Christ. Great White where the temperature is between 54 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, but are found in particularly just giving us, high concentrations. He's just giving us basic anatomical facts about the Great White Shark. 
not explaining why he thinks it's the single most dangerous fish in the world. They, of course, have one of the most powerful bites Dude, great in whites the are animal so kingdom. Fucking cool. There are usually one or two deaths per year, but this is almost certainly wow. unintended. One or two deaths per year by complete accident. This must be the single most dangerous. If actually, if he's saying that the most dangerous fish in the world causes one to two deaths a year and it's by accident, I don't think you need to be scared of fish at all. Ended. It was a pretty, I don't even know how to feel about this. It was a pretty terrible list in general, or at least like it had a lot of good ones, but it was like misordered. And then the things that I was upset about, like putting gray white at the top. And then in the beginning, he said piranhas. He actually explained that they weren't true after. So I don't fully get it. It was a meh video. Yeah, it was a meh video. Whoa.